So here is a sketch of y is equal to x cubed. Let's say I want to find the area between minus 1 and 1. Okay, so these two shaded regions. So naturally, I would bring in the integration okay, of x cubed, dx with respect to x, and I'm going to integrate it between minus 1 and 1. Okay, seems reasonable enough. So I introduce the square brackets, add 1 to the power, divide by the new power, integrating between minus 1 and 1. Okay, so I'm going to substitute in 1 first, and I get 1 to the 4 over 4, which is just 1 quarter. And then I substitute in minus 1, and I get minus 1 to the 4, which is 1 over 4, so that's just a quarter as well. And then I see that I've got a quarter, take my quarter, which is 0. Now, I know that the area isn't 0. I can see it's not 0. However, the integral is saying that I get 0. And this is a key point that you need to be very clear on. Because this area is below the x-axis, that means that the integral is negative. It is positive when it is above the x-axis, but negative when it's below. And so the area that I have there is cancelling out the area that I have there. And so if I needed to work out what the area, overall area is, I would first find the area between 0 and 1. Okay, so that's like this. Uh, sorry, from 0 to 1. So we get 1 over 4, take away 0 over 4, which is 1 quarter. So this area is 1 quarter. And then you could find the, in, the integral between minus 1 and 0. So if we do the minus 1 and 0 of x cubed dx. And we get x to the 4 over 4 between minus 1 and 0. So we get 0 over 4, take away 1 over 4. So that's minus a quarter. So you can see when I add them together, I would get 0. So the integral is 1 over quarter, uh, is minus a quarter, sorry, but the area is 1 quarter. And so the whole area is actually 1 half, a quarter plus a quarter. So that's the actual area. So area cannot be negative. Okay? An integral can be negative, as we can see here. We get minus quarter. But the actual area of this region cannot be negative. And so while the integral is minus a quarter, the area is actually one quarter. Okay? So keep this in mind when we deal with areas that are under the x-axis, okay? And make sure you don't make a silly mistake like this.